It is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. Sorry, I lost my watch. And it's time to go to bed. I'm sorry, what? Morning. Good night. Bed? That's right, bed. The sun is shining, as you can see. And it's way too bright for me because I'm slowly turning into a vampire. But why is that, Maureen? Well, it just so happened that I am working on a survey research vessel. And on survey research vessel, what often happens is that people need to conduct the survey over a period of 24 hours. So what they do is that they work in shifts. And these shifts vary depending on the research vessel you work on. This one, it's 12 hours, 12 hours. So some people work from noon to midnight and some people work from midnight to noon. Guess which shift I'm on. That's right, you guessed properly. I'm on the midnight to noon shift. Weirdly enough, even though I've worked on at least a dozen research vessels at this point, I've never actually worked with shifts before. And the last cruise that I've been on was a little bit like that. It was like five hours sleep, six hours work, two hours sleep, five hours work, one hour sleep, seven hours work. I mean, it was completely all over the place and your circadian rhythm gets completely messed up, not just with sleep patterns, but with food patterns, because you're not following schedules anymore, and this kind of stuff. So I'm more used to being in a research vessel where things function like that, which is absolutely exhausting. It's um, eight. It's eight in the morning, and I'm going to bed. It's 5 a.m., and I'm getting up. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm going to bed. It's 6.30 a.m. and I'm going to bed. It's 12.30 and I'm getting up. It's 2.30 p.m. and I'm going back to bed. It's 9.30 p.m. and I'm going to bed. It's now 4 a.m. and I'm going to bed. It's um, 6 past 6 a.m., uh, probably about 6.30, maybe 7. I'm going to bed. It's uh, 4.15. It's 4.10. Oh, it's 4... <clears throat> I can't even do this anymore. It's 4.10 in the morning and I'm going to bed. And uh, uh, I have to get up in about one hour. So I'm actually really happy to have a 12 hour, 12 hour shift. I mean, right now I'm on my 12 hour break and I can actually film this video, which is so unusual for me to, to, to have the time to be able to film a video while I'm on the research vessel is something that is unheard of as far as the experience that I have is concerned. So. So that's what um, that's what we're doing. Uh, the problem at the moment is adjusting to the night shift. So it's kind of like having a 12-hour jet lag, um, and it's kind of like this. Uh, you need to. All right, your shift starts midnight, and you have to stay up the whole night, all the way up to noon. So last night we started at three. I actually woke up at three. I slept just a few hours, and now I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed. I guess, uh, even though the sun is so bright. And then I will uh, hopefully be able to sleep at least six hours. I don't think it will be possible. I think my brain is going to wake me up before that because it's going to say, hey, Marion, this is way too long of a nap. So we'll see. And well, because you're kind of in the same boat, <laughs> to put it mildly, with other people who are doing this kind of hardcore shift as well you kind of in a way get closer to people and there is some sort of shared experience which you already have by sim the simple fact that you are isolated on the research vessel doing something really weird with your life but it, if you had the night shift on top of that it's even weirder <laughs> and so you 
you can't form this little group of people that are the ones doing the you know hardcore night shift slash being vampires kind of stuff. So yeah, um, I, I think that in a way I, I prefer the night shift because it makes the experience that much more grandiose and exceptional. And um, yeah, again, it's kind of like being in space. Yeah, so anyway, I plan to go sleep now. Good night, everyone. Time to close my eyes.